Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Addington News. In front of, wow, what a shot that is, Darren. Cup day, Lindau rooftop. Great experience for those people. Many of them first time race cars. Yeah, look, absolutely a huge day. Obviously, IRT New Zealand Cup day. Keep following us on Facebook. Keep looking at the website. Those tickets are gonna go on sale soon. It's gonna sell out, as we keep saying. And another thing, just to, to keep looking at the website and the Facebook pages with all the information that's coming up. The 6th of August, the midwinter that we've added, that's sold out. So there's another one gone. Yep. And Trackside Dining, building up to that first premier meeting, the 1st of October, they're going to sell out, out quickly. Um, yep. I think there's 300 in Trackside Dining this Friday. So um, it's busy. Uh, so keep having a look. Keep ha uh, getting in front of it, if you like, and, and book ahead, because we are selling out pretty quickly. All right. We do focus on so many things that are happening here at Addington Raceway, Darren, but our friends across the Alps have had a really tough time, particularly at Westport, an iconic racetrack, which is currently underwater. It is. Uh, it's the second time this one, a wee bit more dramatic, I guess. Uh, we had that title surge a wee while ago, uh, and they recovered from that. They're resilient, they'll recover from this, but look, our thoughts to everyone over there on the coast. They run a great meeting at Christmas on behalf of the industry, and uh, there's probably a wee bit more, the, more water on the track than a Johnny Reedy or a Johnny Rogers would like, <laughs> but um, they'll recover, they always bounce back, and uh, you know, thoughts are with them. Fantastic week last week for our young people in the game, the Macmillan Equine Feeds Junior Drivers Championship, and gee, they conducted themselves with, uh, with great aplomb, all of the participants from North and South, and the ladies just keep on delivering in this series. Yeah, our videos today, we're gonna to touch on Sarah O'Reilly's uh, big win um, for the Junior Drivers Champs and her 100th win on uh, Thursday night on Sugar Me. Big ups to the owners and trainers though for getting behind and allowing us to have five races. Yeah, look, absolutely. It's difficult to put those races together. We wanna give a big shout out to everyone that helped us with that. And there was a number of them that went out of their way to help us and to give us as many of those runners as we could. So big shout out to them. HRNZ, a huge job that they did putting it together. And of course, the sponsor McMillan's who have been with that series for a wee while now. 19 races this week at Addington Cross Friday and Sunday, 5.45 the first on Friday night. Really good program as well. Tough to pick some winners there and 12.30 on Sunday. Yeah, so look, as you say, 19 races, 212 horses, individual good, horses, yeah, yeah, that's really good, and turnover last week, just uh, exceptional, especially Sunday, mm. um, seven races, one with just five horses, and we're averaging 9,600 a runner on the tote, so look, um, really promising, we're looking for a big day on Friday, on Friday in particular this week, Sunday will be good of course, the tactics are playing here, uh, quarter past four on Sunday, so People will be in here into spectators. All of those specials are on the spectators page. Have a look at those. And uh, looking for a really big turnover Friday night. All right, so check out all the form. Uh, hrnz.co.nz, probably the best place to go. And of course, tob.co.nz for all your betting options. We've got pick six here Friday night too. Pick six as well, so have a look at that. Uh, the herb, the urb.co.nz. Yep. Forms all up there for both meetings on that, that site right now, so they can have a look at that. But we want to leave you with Sarah O'Reilly. We don't want to forget Crandall Getty either, who um, sugar me when she won for Sarah on Thursday. Crand registered as 1300th yeah. training win here in New Zealand. So we better not let that go. No, absolutely not. He's selling himself in Queensland at the moment. But Sarah O'Reilly's the star of the show. We're going to leave you with her win on sugar me on Thursday and her first treble in taking out the Junior Drivers Champs on Sunday. Tommy rules, 28-3 the third quarter. And the leader is that Alexander guy, some kind of wonderful, now gets off his back from Rockin'. Tommy rules down to the bone, peeling with Copperhead Rose. Some kind of wonderful went to the lead. Sugar Me followed him through the lane. Some kind of wonderful, Sugar Me coming. Copperhead Rose wider out, Sugar Me, some kind of wonderful, Sugar Me. Sugar Me wins again, beats some kind of wonderful and Susie rocks. I think she just nabbed Copperhead Rose for third ahead of down to the bone. That Alexander guy. Char B. Morrison getting desperate as he spots O'Reilly. Five turning in. Third quarter, 29-4. I'm tough. She goes for home. Two lengths better than love. Then came Char Char B at the 150. I'm tough leads better than love. Then came Franco Hoffman. It's I'm tough. Two lengths clear. Trying hard better than love. But it is the McMillan Equine Feeds New Zealand Junior Drivers Championship to Sarah O'Reilly and I'm tough. I'm tough, beats home.